Krima Media's Engineering News is talking to the South African Wire Association about spreading awareness of South African wire and wire industry related projects and how it affects steel construction in the country. Why is there a need for the association within the South African steel markets? The South African Wire Association was established in order to promote the export of our members' uh, products and we have uh, been doing this for some years via uh, trade shows traveling internationally and um, advertising domestically uh, to promote the export of our members' products. How will South Alp companies grow and regulate themselves within the South African steel markets? The South African uh, Wire Association, our members are uh, manufacturers and, uh, of various kinds of products that support the agricultural industry, the security industry, the motor industry, the mining and, in, and engineering. Our members all see ourselves as a mature industry already. We've been supporting the primary steel industry in that our uh, input raw materials are sourced from the primary steel industry and therefore we are an integral part of the steel industry and uh, although our products are considered as downstream products serving various sectors of the South African economy. How can companies use the preferential procurement policy? The South African wire products have been designated quite recently and so uh, we haven't seen any benefit uh, from the uh, triple PFA yet but uh, in all probability the, the benefit will come to the primary steel producers first and then followed into the downstream industries which we are supporting. Thank you. That was Creamer Media's Engineering News talking to the South African Wire Association. <laughs> <laughs>